This video is for junior high science. We're picking back up on page 296 and covering the highlights up until page 300. So back on page 296, we stopped uh, the other day at solid non-metals and semi-metals. So first thing to highlight again on page 296 is at the very bottom of the first column, these words are italicized. Carbon is also a basic building block of the complex compounds found in your body and in all living organisms. So carbon has several different forms. You can see some of them there. Uh, graphite, uh, there's a lubricant form, there's uh, lead pencils, um, diamonds are made from carbon, and we are partly made from carbon. Next page, page 297, highlight silicon, silicon in bold there. Highlight that it is considered a semi-metal. And highlight that silicon in pure form is used to make computer chips. See some different pictures there of uh, silicon. We've got the worker inspecting some computer chips and then we've got the picture of the little tiny computer chip there. That little tiny chip is the brain of the computer, and it does an awful lot. Turning to page 298, find in the first column, calcium in bold. Around that, highlight the most common alkaline earth metal is a metal called calcium. So you want to have the most common alkaline earth metal. On the next column, highlight um, the second place where it says halogens, both bold and italicized, and then highlight that these are all highly reactive, showing a special tendency to form compounds with alkali and alkaline earth metals. And then a little bit further down, highlight the halogen fluorine has a variety of uses. Um, highlight that fluoride strengthens tooth enamel and is added to drinking water and toothpaste. Very important item there. On the next page, page 299, find chlorine. Highlight that the most widely used halogen is undoubtedly chlorine. And then highlight bleaches with that. So if you have a pool, you might use uh, a type of chlorine to clean your pool. Uh, your mom probably has a bottle of bleach in the basement or uh, in the laundry room. And a lot of uh, cleaning products, especially for bathrooms, contain bleach. Uh, and that is because of highlight germ-killing agents. Germ-killing agents. Next column, find the word sublimes in bold. Highlight when heated, it sublimes, that is, instead of melting, the crystals turn directly into gas. So we've got a picture of that iodine subliming there. So we've got the solid iodine in the beaker, it's being heated, and rather than melting, it's turning into gas. Uh, next to the picture of the salt highlight, you may have noticed the word iodized on a box of table salt. Highlight a small quantity of iodine has been added to prevent a deficiency of iodine in our diet. And deficiencies in iodine can cause a, uh, a lot of different problems. Uh, and there's also iodine-based antiseptics, and these will often um, be used in place of um, like hydrogen peroxide or something like that. And it's very effective at killing germs. Next, underneath the noble gases, highlight all the naturally occurring elements in the last column of the periodic table are gases. Keep highlighting. They are called noble gases because they do not, except under very unusual circumstances, combine with anything else. All right, and you can keep your reading there about the noble gases. And that is our last highlight for today. So make sure that you answer your questions there. Let me know if you have any questions about what we're covering. And you can call me or text me uh, anytime during school hours, and I will answer. 
you guys have a great day and have a good weekend.